Welcome back to this tutorial series by DW Tutor. In this flash tutorial, I'll be basically showing you how to add buttons to your navigation. <coughs> um, okay. First, you would like to add a new layer. You like to name this layer buttons and make sure that this layer is below each of these previous names. Now you would like to grab your triangle tool and make sure you have a stroke. I mean make sure you doesn't yeah you don't have a stroke. You can but I will not be using the stroke for this tutorial. I'm just going to use use any color I'm just going to use black because nothing else really fits in I'm going to draw a rectangle sorry about that that's just one horrible triangle right there I mean rectangle okay rectangle you can use your arrow keys to adjust it I will ask you to lock each of these so you don't mess with your text. All you're doing now is making a button. So I think that looks centered. Okay, now you would like to convert to symbol. Make sure it's on button. Okay, I'm gonna name this generic button. Registration top left corner and press OK. And once you have done that, you like to oops not lock it, sorry. You like to go inside. Here you will see different stages of the button. You see up, over, down, and hit. I am going to create a keyframe here by pressing F6. Use my free transform tool to make this just a thin, thin bar at the top. I'm going to go to the down state and hit F6 to insert a new keyframe. And I'm going to bring this down. When you click down, it should be this black square. Okay. I'm going to go to the hit stage and press F6. I'm going to use the free transform tool again, third down on your panel. And I'm going to extend this. Yeah. Okay. This is just so when your user rolls over he doesn't have to be right on top of the button but it will still show okay the up stage I will be just selecting and deleting the keyframe so now all you have is the over down I need to fix my down stage a little there we go okay the up the the up, the down, and the hit state. The over, the down, and the hit state. Okay. Still need to fix this down state for my not where I want it. Okay. Still not where I want it. Sorry about this. That works. Okay, the up, over, down, hit. Okay. You would like to click back to scene one. Here you will see that it has changed the color of the button. Just knowing that the first frame does not have a button, but the rest do. You would like to copy and paste it. I'm just gonna paste it about three times because I have three more buttons. 
Okay, it's the welcome page. So I'm just gonna, there we go. I'm gonna take these and slide these on here. Okay, those are really close together. You can make them a bit smaller. All right. Editing one, you edit them all. So here, I'm just going to select my pre-transform tool. I'm going to make this smaller, just to cover the word. Okay. My overstate. That's just my downstate. That's just okay. Still need to go down a little. Okay, my overstate is just right. Selection tool, and I'm gonna go back to scene one. Ah, crap. Okay, let me use my arrow keys to fix this. Okay. Yeah, this is not working out for me. <laughs> okay, overstate, downstate, down. Downstate, I need to use the free transform tool. Make sure it's completely covered. Okay, I'm gonna go back to it. Okay, now I'm gonna click Control Enter to see if this works. Okay, you see as I go over each of the buttons, the little black line goes on top, and if I click down, the thing fills with the black. You'd like to make sure that yours is a bit more even and than mine because mine is really distorted. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, rate, comment, and see you in the next tutorial.